Hello, welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be covering and discussing about databases and their character set encodings. That said, let's get started. So a character set encoding, whenever it is utilized at the database level, Postgres in particular, determines how your characters are stored and interpreted. By default, there are many options of these character set encodings, but the default one is UTF-8. It supports a wide range of characters. That's the biggest reason it is utilized. So let's go ahead and see what other options we have. And for that, I'm going to log in as our Postgres account and go into PSQL. I have a list of files that I have here created in scripts, and I'm going to view the 114. These are the options we have available made for us in Postgres. Latin 1, UTF-8, Latin 9, and Unicode. As mentioned before, each one of these are going to determine how the characters are stored and interpreted within the database. A few real-world scenarios we would want to apply here is multilingual applications. If you're considering multilingual applications like Chinese, Arabic, or Cyrillic, UTF-8 isn't recommended. When you want to localize into specific markets, regions or countries, that's where you might want to consider others such as Latin 1 because it covers for Spanish language. Now for legacy systems, you might have to determine specifics of it, such as Latin 1 or Latin 9, just to provide some se seamless integration there. Latin 1 also is very efficient along with UTF-8 for efficient storage. All of these are efficient themselves, but I th say the top ones are Latin 1, UTF-8, or Unicode because they store each character in a single byte. Now, when it comes to special characters, Latin 9 might be one you might want to consider, particularly for Euroscience, whenever it involves financial applications or e-commerce platforms. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a database. As we can see, we have, we're back here. We're gonna create a database called my character set and we're going to utilize what we had seen before, these character set, or let's go back and take a look at it and copy it, might as well, to not make any errors here. Character set encoding, copy it, and let's modify it. Let's hit my UTF-8. database. There we go. Let's list them. Notice I have a few others there available, but if I drop it again, just to make sure that it didn't exist, and we list them again, notice it's not there. So let's just go ahead and create it just for the sake of it so that we can see that there's no magic happening in the background. We connect to it. And of course, that's going to mean that there is nothing there as expected. Well, that concludes for this video. Keep uh, in touch and looking at these videos in the YouTube channel because we're gonna have a few more regarding character setting codings. They will become very useful. See you in the next one. Thanks.